Why are your annual reviews terrible? And why do your employees hate them? I'm gonna give you four basic reasons. It's not all encompassing, but I'm gonna give you four major reasons that I've seen in my experience of why your annual reviews stink. Number one, you surprise your team. I talked about this in the previous blog, right? No surprises, a summary of everything that you've talked about throughout the year, every month, every quarter. You should be discussing these things continually throughout the year, including praise and feedback, all right? The annual review should just be a summary of those conversations, so no surprises. Uh, two, they're not delivered in person. I talked about this as well. Like you cannot email an annual review and just say read it and sign off on it. Terrible, absolutely terrible. They should be, if at all possible, done in person. Now, they can't be done in person. You can do them over a phone call. If you have a strong relationship with that person and you've been together for a long time, I've done a few that way. I don't like to do it, but I have with people that I've worked with for many years and have a high level of trust. However, Zoom, Zoom video conferencing, right? There's no reason not to do a Zoom call if you're gonna do an interview. You sit down, you're still looking at each other face to face. It's the next best thing to being right across the table uh, from each other during your review. So take the time to deliver them in person. Show them that you care about them, all right? And time is our biggest gift that we can give somebody. Uh, the other thing, it's based too much on the last three months leading up to review. So you take a whole year's worth of performance and you didn't take good notes, you didn't track progress, you didn't keep track of what they were doing, and so all you can do when it comes time to review, you can't remember back at the beginning of the year, so you base it too much, good and bad, on the last three months. You need to have a great tool to keep track of what your people are working on throughout the year and their process and progress and results. We use our SR5 performance measurement system, our scorecards, our ROIs, which are a measurable job description, and our, our quarterly 515s, which are the, the priorities and action items that they're going to focus on throughout the year. I, I just recently wrote reviews and I go back through the 515s and I see what were the action items and did they complete them or not. I compare it to the ROIs, did they hit their goals or not. I look through the whole year so it's a well-balanced review, not just on the last 90 days. And the last point of that is you don't take the time to properly prepare and, and, and deliver these. So it's one thing to make the time to sit in front of somebody to deliver it. You also have to take the time to write them, right? So I just got done writing them. I don't like doing that, but I went through it. Now, do I just submit them and I'm done and I'm ready to present? No, I will, re I will go back. I'll give it a couple days uh, to settle in. I will go back and review them multiple times. I will make sure that I'm really encompassing everything that I wanted to say, that it truly is a summary of everything that we talked about throughout the year. I'll delete stuff I thought sounded you know, good the first time, I'll add stuff, I'll tweak it, I'll look at it again, I'll put it away a couple days later. I'm doing my reviews in December, I will not deliver the majority of them until January, but I'm working on them now. If you have a, a review on Wednesday and you crank it out on Tuesday and then quick deliver it to the person on Wednesday, you have failed them as a leader. They deserve your time, your attention, and your best effort. This is their feedback. This is one way you help develop, coach, and mentor people. Okay, so annual reviews are not bad. They're good if you do them the right way, and these are some of the best practices that I have found to make them the most effective. Please let me know best practices that you found. I'd love to share and learn and grow with you. Thanks.